Well, good evening and welcome to the latest episode of Bronco Nation Live. We are here live from Bronco Base Camp at Hammertown at King of the Hammers 2023 in Johnson Valley, California. I'm your host, Jordan Parker, joined by my two amazing colleagues, Laura Zielinski and Matt Russell, who you all know well. Thank you so much for joining us. This is our first Bronco Nation live stream from Hammers. Uh, so if there are intermittent issues with connectivity or something, we're running off Starlink and there's about 10,000 Starlinks out in that valley. Uh, so just bear with us, but we should be great. Hopefully better than last time. But anyways, it's so great to see all of you in the chat. We got a lot for you tonight. We got guests from ARB, Ford Performance. We have ourselves here, which is always fun. Uh, lots to show you, lots of exciting announcements. And uh, it's been a great week. It's been a great few days at Hammertown. Great few days at base camp. This is the largest base camp we've ever done. Tons of attendees. Laura, how's it going? What are your thoughts so far? I am so excited to see so many familiar faces back here again. We have, yes. I would say, I don't know, Jordan, Matt, 50%? repeat attendees 50 percent of, of people yeah. have it's, been to a at least one bronco base camp before yeah it's absolutely fantastic to see familiar faces rolling in bronco after bronco knowing broncos as you're rolling around king of the hammers being able to point out oh that's a bn member um so it has been fantastic to have so many of you guys back with us and newcomers too so first yes. time first time to take this all in it is a wild ride at king of the hammers but they have been having a blast we have been having a blast and we're excited to see what the next uh, day holds for this for sure matt a lot thoughts, of broncos this is your third hammers this is my third, third hammers. hammers and um i remember the first year we were really excited because i think that was almost the first time i saw a bronco it was one of the first few times it was and for a lot of people that was the first time they saw the bronco i think we had a handful here last year i came out for a day we had a few broncos most people had not gotten theirs yet and then this year it seems like everyone has a bronco so yes. you drive around and see them all over the place and there's a lot of unique builds uh, people that have been able to build theirs out do full suspensions that they can go and test in the desert uh, this is the perfect place for it so it's been it great is. so far we have had some incredible times yeah. in the desert this week oh yeah you're gonna see people <laughs> milling around in base camp behind us uh, we just had some very special guests if you haven't heard uh, today was a 4600 race here at King of the Hammers and just like last year Bronco swept the podium again with Von Gittin Jr. and Lauren Healy coming in first place Brad Lovell and Roger Lovell coming in second place and then Bailey Cole and his partner coming in third place so they just visited base camp moments ago and they actually left their trucks here which is super kind of them and so base camp attendees have been lining up for almost an hour to take pictures uh, of their Bronco with the winning Broncos today. So super exciting. Uh, Allie noticed it. Allie said new flannel. Yes, there is a new flannel. We'll get to that in just a little bit. But want to give a few shout outs to people in the chat. Want to say hello to Technical Disasters, Tim Kylie, M. Peugeot, Allie Du Bois, My Dog's Bronco, Doug Robinson, The Bronco Adventure, Dirk Connor, Blanco Bronco, which they're behind me somewhere, I think. We saw them. Shout out to you guys. Great to see you again. Robert Benaver, Chris Byrne, lots of people. But yes, it's been great. Anything mm -hmm. else before we move on to our first guests? No, let's get started. No, let's jump in. Okay, well, as you guys know, since August, we have been adding a myriad of incredible partners to the Bronco Nation gear store and our parts and accessories catalog. We want to be the number one source for high quality Bronco parts and continue to level up our offerings so you guys can level up your Broncos. And tonight, we are thrilled to announce our latest partner, ARB. Roll the tape. Since 1975, ARB has been manufacturing some of the highest quality off-road parts and accessories on the market. And when the 6th Gen Bronco was introduced, they brought their decades of experience to the new Bronco platform. From off-road recovery gear to bumpers, bridges and freezers to storage solutions, there is something to take your Bronco to the next level. And now with Bronco Nation and ARB working in tandem together, we have made it more accessible and easier than ever to get your hands on these incredible parts. So starting today, the entire suite of ARB Bronco accessories are available right on the Bronco Nation site for you to shop. And for those of you at home who are Bronco Nation members, you will of course be receiving the member exclusive pricing on the full suite of parts as well. We are so proud to add ARB to our already extensive list of high quality partners available right on the Bronco Nation site as we continue our pursuit to make Bronco Nation the number one source for high quality parts and accessories for the Bronco. So if you haven't already, head over to thebronconation.com right now to check out ARB, their entire suite of Bronco accessories alongside all of our other fantastic partners. Thank you so much for being part of the nation. You're the reason we do it and we can't wait to see some of these incredible parts on your incredible vehicles. Well, there you have it, folks. ARB is the newest member of the Bronco Nation family. And to commemorate this incredible announcement, we are joined by president of ARB USA, Doug Pettis. Doug, how's it going? Going great. 
Happy to be here. Uh, this is my 11th KOH. 11th? So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, Doug and the team were very kind and joined us uh, the other night at our campfire fireside chat uh, to tell the attendees here a little bit about ARB, show off some of their incredible parts, and they also gave us some time with their Broncos a little bit earlier in the week. For those of you not familiar, Doug, why don't you tell us a little bit about ARB, the history, how they got started, and a lot of people have asked, what does ARB stand for? You answered sure. it the other night, but... Uh, We'll tell, let's tell the viewers at you home. Bet. So, ARB is an Australian based aftermarket company for 4x4 truck parts. So we were founded in 1975. Um, ARB stands for Anthony Ronald Brown, Tony Brown, who is the founder of the company. And he founded the company after taking a trip from Melbourne, Australia, up to the top end of Australia, doing an overlanding trip, seeing a lot of 4x4s uh, struggle. And so he came back, and that's when he started ARB and started building really great parts. So, most of our parts are built in Australia and then also in a factory that we own in Thailand. So they're all tested in the Australian Outback and uh, proven to be super durable. That's fantastic. Now, Doug, you said you've been to 11 hammers. How has that changed to what it is today over the past 11 years? Oh, er every year it gets bigger, right? When you think it can't get any bigger, they can't get any more people <laughs> in here. It's amazing. So ARB has been involved for 15 years. I've been coming down here for 11 years. and. Every year it's just bigger and better. you just excited to see where this goes in the future. Now you guys mentioned you have quite the pedigree of off-road history, building parts, testing parts. When the 6th Gen Bronco platform came out, how did you guys approach that? Yeah, so we were lucky to be a Ford strategic partner early on, so we were involved in that process. And um, I was actually fortunate enough to be on an industry panel and involved with that from the beginning. So we've been a partner with Ford, and a lot of the parts that we've designed has been in cooperation with Airb engineers and Ford engineers. So they're really well integrated into the vehicle. Um, a good example of this is our twin compressor onboard mount for the Bronco. That was designed in cooperation with Ford and Airb engineers. So it's got a lot of design built into it. It's got an aluminum base plate so it doesn't interfere with the electronics of the vehicle. It's gone through FEA and CAE testing so you know it'll be durable. So much so that we've been able to extend the warranty on that product from three years to five years when you buy that through Ford Performance. Now, Doug, you guys specialize in recovery gear for a lot of people that are newer to off-roading and may not understand the importance of recovery gear and understand the importance of quality recovery gear specifically. What are some, what are what do you guys put specifically into your recovery gear to differentiate from some other uh, manufacturers out there? Right, so all of our uh, recovery gear is tested and it's tested to working load limits. And we really stress that it's important that you buy quality recovery mm -hmm. gear, whether that's ARBs or somebody else. This is safety equipment, right? So this goes to vehicle durability and safety and also personal safety. So there's a lot of testing, uh, rating and design that goes into our uh, recovery. Yeah, and that's one thing that they teach at the Bronco Off Rodeo, especially, is uh, quality recovery, how to recover properly, um, the do's and don'ts. And one of those, as Doug, you mentioned, is quality uh, recovery because there's a lot of cheap accessories out there on Amazon that may look cool, but when it comes to actually using them, they are going to fail pretty quickly, which can leave you in a very bad scenario. So, quality recovery gear, of course, that ARB uh, manufactures and we're selling on the Bronco Nation website is something that you always want to have uh, and hope you never have to use it as opposed to the other way around. Now, Doug, I know you guys have a lot of Bronco parts out there. Looking forward, uh, uh, what can the nation expect to see from ARB on the Bronco side in the future? Yeah, so we're launching our ARB base racks. We'll have a really good roof rack platform. Um, it ups the dynamic load rating from about 110 OE to 285 pounds. So you can get our rooftop tents and a bunch of gear up there. So that's one of the newest products. We're also working on our BP51 internal bypass suspension system. will be about a four, four and a half inch lift system to clear larger tires, 37 and bigger. So that's something else that'll be coming as well. That's fantastic. Any final thoughts, Doug, or any questions from you, Laura or Matt for Doug? No questions no. from me, yeah. but I love the ARB Broncos that you guys have out yeah. here. Yeah, All thanks. the customization on those is it's so cool, and um, there's some really cool touches on those. So Yeah, we had, uh, as I mentioned, ARB was kind enough to let us borrow their Broncos for a little bit. We got to test out the Old Man Emu suspension for the first time. Was really impressed. Uh, didn't know what to expect, but it was fantastic and certainly a great option if you're looking to upfit your Bronco. Laura, anything from you? Uh, I think the suspension from Matt and your review yeah. must be something pretty amazing to drive. Yeah. I'd like to yep. try that out for myself. And yeah. then just when you guys pulled in with it, with the lights, uh, top notch <laughs> lights right there, I was blinded. Some bright, uh, very bright. <laughs> so quality products for sure. 
Fantastic. Well, Doug, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time. We're thrilled and honored to partner with ARB and to have you guys alongside us as part of the Bronco Nation family. My pleasure. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks, Doug. Thanks. Got one more exciting announcement tonight. Uh, but before we do that, before we get into that, we got to do something pretty cool this week. Yeah. I got to do something pretty cool this week. You, you did. did. And you guys got to watch. <laughs> I got to drive the Bronco DR. Yes, the famed Bronco DR, the desert race truck, turnkey desert race truck that Ford is manufacturing. Uh, and they reveal that SEMA got about two hours behind the wheel. Uh, so as our next guest gets ready to show, we're going to show you a little teaser of that in just a second. All of our thoughts and all of that, the drive impressions will come out Monday, as well as a full video to let you know what kind of experience it was like behind the wheel of a half a million dollar production race truck uh it was very thrilling to say the least but outside of that drive we've taken some phenomenal trail drives this week particularly to bronco knoll and uh up rattlesnake canyon matt lore what are your experiences been like with that that was my first time at bronco knoll and uh and his first time off-roading and my first time off-road no i've still never been off-roading oh, oh yeah sure you flew there we, yeah we, we helicoptered Levitated. me out there there's, um, a pay, there's asphalt all the way to the top, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty cool, though. It was a good trail, and I think it was more challenging than I thought it would be getting up there. Um, we did have some some Broncos, not Sasquatch, uh, that did make it up. So if you're out there and want to do it, then you can. Um, but some really good trails, and we had a lot of people go, which is always a great time uh, with a big group. Fantastic. Laura? Yeah, and Bronco Sports make it up, too. You choose the alternate route, and you can get up there. And then I've heard that they have their own coordinates, um, Easter oh, egg, yeah. in there. And Sport they have been going to... Summit. Bronco I think it's, Sports Summit. Yeah, so that's fantastic. Um, either one that you want to do, uh, both a great time. We also went out to Rattlesnake Canyon, took about 30 Broncos to that today. <laughs> uh, had a lot a of fun. <laughs> uh, beautiful sights, beautiful landscape, uh, really good time with the community. Um, I think I think that was a lot of people's first experience at some of that kind of terrain, and it was a great time for them. We had everybody just excited to be able to do that together. It's great trail drives this week. Sweet. Well, our next guest is ready to go. So before we introduce Natalie from uh, Ford Accessories, we're going to show you guys a little sneak peek of the DR. <laughs> So for those who know uh, and have asked about my Raptor, I just skipped the Raptor and went to the DR, and I unfortunately can't go back now. So I'll be ordering one of those. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Um, our next guest is Natalie Simon from Ford Accessories. She is joining us exclusively for a super exciting announcement. Natalie, how are you doing in this uh, desert tundra? I'm great. This, yeah. is, this is unbelievable. <laughs> so Natalie, this is your first hammers. Before we get into that, why don't you tell everyone at home uh, what you do, sure. what you do for Ford, and kind of a little bit about yourself. Absolutely, yeah. So um, Natalie Simon, yep. Ford Performance uh, Parts and Accessories. So I've been with Ford for about nine years uh, with Ford Performance Parts and Accessories for probably about uh, just short of five years now uh, as Marketing, Events, and Communications Manager. Fantastic. So this is your first Hammers. It is. What do you think? Like I said, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's Can't a lot. describe it. It's, it, it, it. I was on the phone with my husband earlier today, and he's he was like, "How was it?" And I go, "This is this is amazing." And he goes, "Are you gonna elaborate yeah, yeah. anymore?" <laughs> and I said, Lost I, I, "Yeah." I, I said, "It's it's NASCAR meets Bernie Man meets yes. you know it's it's." And then you've got a bunch of sand, and it's, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah, I said, I'm so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone is. Yeah, yes. that's what makes it fun. What's the craziest thing you've seen or one thing that you didn't expect to see? I mean, all of it's crazy, but on the scale of crazy. So I guess you they've created a community in the mm -hmm. desert, and I that's just, it's amazing to me, you know? Yeah. Uh, it, there's nothing here and then all of a sudden one day something pops up it's that's that's so cool right it's pretty nuts yeah. so bronco won yes. swept the podium as a Yay. ford enthusiast car enthusiast what is that like amazing i'm so happy i'm so proud for for the team for i mean like i said there's a community here yep. and bronco is 
clearly in the spotlight. So yeah. it makes it makes us feel really, really happy. Now, beyond that, you are a car enthusiast yourself. I You've am. been around cars forever. Yes. Runs deep in your blood. It does. Tell us a little bit about that. And you're working on an exciting project, aren't you? We are. So my dad and I are working on a 71 Pantera together. So really exciting, putting a lot of Ford Performance parts in that as well, <laughs> actually. Uh, you know, the 5.2 Illuminator engine. Speaking of uh, yeah. pro Ford Performance. Yeah, speaking of <laughs> Ford Performance. Yeah, the, the Illuminator engine. We're doing the alternator. We're doing, you know, the the control pack. It's it's going to be pretty decked out. Full Rusto mod. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. Now, at Ford Accessories, Ford Performance, you guys do a lot to make people ve to take people's vehicles to the next level. Talk a little bit about what you guys do there, what kind of philosophy you apply to the daily life. Sure. Uh, what you do so the department I call I, I work in is actually called vehicle personalization it's all about personalization and and putting forth what your hobbies are and and kind of I mean it's it's a different way of fashion right like mm -hmm. I can sit here and wear heels and, and dress up this is a, a completely different way of doing it right this I, I can fashion and upfront upfit my car mm -hmm. to to really ex accessorize what I do in my life and, and exactly what who I am and my personality. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, uh, we won't delay any further. Natalie, you have a very exciting announcement, something we have been talking about for six, eight months. It's been a while. Quite a long time, yes. something that we at Bronco Nation are stoked about. Couldn't be more excited to share with all of you. But Natalie, I will let you uh, do the honors and tell the nation what they are in for. Awesome. Yeah, so Ford Performance Parts is going to be offering a very unique selection of parts for Bronco Nation members. Yes. We're really excited for that, shipping directly to your door. Yes. So we're in the, we're in the midst of uh, crossing all the T's and dotting all the I's and making sure that everything's perfect and there's a seamless experience for all of our members. Um, Bronco Nation is the voice for, for customers, right? Yeah. We want to be right there with them. And this yeah. is really exciting for us. It's a very unique opportunity. So, you know, we're just, we're all speed ahead. You know, yeah. this is so exciting. Yeah, we are thrilled. Uh, as we have mentioned all the time, Bronco Nation is all about making the Bronco ownership experience easier and more enjoyable and bringing Ford largely into that fold uh, to bring their incredible parts to your incredible vehicles is something we've been really wanting to do since the outset. So we're thrilled to announce ARB this evening. And we're also thrilled to announce adding the Ford performance parts line uh, to the Bronco Nation family. So whether it's the tuning kit, whether it is rock rails, whether it is tube doors, whether it is a whole host of nearly 50 parts that Ford Performance uh, Parts and Accessories offers for the Bronco, you will now be able to buy those with member exclusive pricing right on the Bronco Nation gear store in our parts catalog, which is phenomenal. It's making this process so easy. You're able to buy them directly on the site, have them shipped right to your door. They're in stock, ready to go. And we are really taking a lot of the headache out of accessorizing your vehicle uh, by adding an incredible suite of parts. Now, Natalie, you guys spend a lot of work sorry, spend a lot of time, put a lot of effort and work into developing and testing these parts to OEM standards. What's the benefit of that when somebody buys a part from Ford? Uh, you know, what's the peace of mind like? Yeah, so first and foremost, they're all under warranty, right? Yep. Uh, the, the very unique thing is that we engineer, we test, so it's all up to Ford quality. Um, what's also very, very um, important to note is that Everything that is created, everything that's engineered, it's all by enthusiasts, right? So we're all, this is this is what we love to do. Um, so we're getting right there in the dirt with everybody else. and Literally. Make, yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. And uh, we make sure that it's if, if we're going to use it, it's going to be, and it's safe for us, it's safe for everybody else. That's fantastic. Yeah, the green bronc you actually see behind us, uh, Natalie brought up from the Ford Performance Team. And when she yes. says they're out here talking to people, she really means it uh, herself and... Yeah, I have about, a uh, dozen. I don't know. A, a lot, of, lot of Ford people, <laughs> Ford performance people yes. are here not only just watching the race and making sure the corporate side of things, but the amount of time you guys have spent up here at base camp talking to these people, looking at their vehicles, hearing their thoughts, bringing the race trucks by. That means so much because, you know, talk is cheap, but the fact that you guys are actually out here in this nuts terrain for days on end. You didn't just fly in to do this and fly out. Natalie's been here for days. Yes. Um, putting up yes. with all of this. Putting up with us. It's all a blur now. I exactly. love it. No, this is great. So I know we, we of course, really appreciate it, and I think people are really going to appreciate it, too. Uh, Matt or Laura, thoughts, questions, comments? We're Natalie, Ford Parts. 
It's a big thing. This is a is, really big it's deal. It's really excited. exciting. Yeah. yeah, I've got plenty of Ford performance parts on my Mustang. Yes. And I think for the Bronco world, this is really exciting because there's so many parts that you guys have. It's not uh, a small catalog. And so I think people are going to be very excited about that. Super exciting. Yeah, for everybody. And just being able to have it so easily delivered to the Bronco Nation, uh, just really appreciate that. And we're looking forward to seeing what people buy and put on their Broncos because looking at these, almost every single Bronco here is unique in some yep. way. Yep. Um, and I know that Ford planned that with the, the ability to be modular and customize your Bronco. So it is so exciting to see which ways you would like to customize your vehicles. And now it's a little bit easier. So thank you so much. Now, yep. Natalie, I know uh, the question is going to come up. Yes. People are excited. When When's this all happening? When can people order parts from Bronco Nation? So we are aiming for later on this quarter. So okay. probably towards uh, March, I want to say. Okay. Uh, yeah. Start looking for all of our parts on Bronco Nation. Yes. As she mentioned, awesome. we are crossing all the T's, dotting all the I's to make sure this experience is flawless for you. We want to make sure that when you log on, you don't have any issues. Uh, so we're working and have been working very closely with y'all's team for, like I said, six to eight months to make sure this is a fantastic, fantastic experience. Uh, just in time for spring. Spring and summer, too, yeah. they have a load of great parts. Uh, so if you want to get those tube doors, trail doors that everyone has been wanting, uh, we will have those in spades. They're shipped available. directly to your house just in time for summer and some incredible events uh, in Moab. Speaking of events, that's what we're going to talk about next. Laura, I'm going to turn it over to you if you want to talk about Well, before we do, I just blazed <laughs> right past it. <laughs> Natalie, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. We you really appreciate me. it. Thank you. Crushed it. Thank you. So happy to have you. People Thank are super excited in the chat. Um, and this is a historic day, super exciting moment for Bronco Nation and Ford to come together and offer these incredible parts to all these incredible people. We're very so. excited. Thanks for having us. Of course. Thank you. Okay, Laura, I'm going to turn it over to you for events. Okay, so right now, obviously, we are at King of the Hammers. Um, we have had a fantastic time so far. We are looking forward to base camp after base camp this year with you all. So we are going from west to east, it Seems like north, all, south. all over the place, yes. right? Yes. One of the next things that we are doing, though, is Bronco Nation Takeover Day at Texas Off Rodeo. Mm -hmm. You guys may have saw that on the website. We posted some news, and we also had it in the email that went out this morning. We will be having a sign-up link for you all shortly. We're working on that right now and just being able to sign up directly through a link that we provide. So you don't need to go to broncooffrodeo.com and sign up there just yet. We'll be able to give you a link, sign up for the wave that's going to be for both Bronco and Sport. So we're doing one for each vehicle and it is going to be a fantastic time. So that's March 18th in Texas. Yes. And then we have three more throughout the year. So after that one, we'll be doing a New Hampshire, and then we'll also we be doing... We have four more. Yes, that's right. Four more. And then we'll be doing... Uh, Number five is a mystery. Moab, <laughs> Vegas, and mystery, mystery Bronco Nation Takeover Stay Day. Tuned. So that Stay one's going to be very tuned. exciting. It's going to be the Bronco <laughs> off-rodeo experience that many of you have heard about, that you know and you love. If you have known and loved that already, you will not be able to go back at this time, unfortunately. It is for brand new people who have their token from Ford still. So. Crossing our fingers, that changes. Exactly. Um, you're welcome to bring a guest. It's going to be uh, the full day of off-roading with the off rodeo experts, several of which are here and oh, have yes. been um, helping our people through the trails, and we are it's excited. It's been so helpful. Very excited helpful. for that I've never one been off-road. Sure. I don't know how to coach people on the trails. <laughs> and I only can drive over 100 miles an hour, so that doesn't yeah. really do yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah. And Lauren um, gets <laughs> As Matt was driving the Raptor <laughs> earlier this week, I said, Matt, I think at this point you can officially say that this is off-roading terrain and both in speed. The speed bump I, that it went over? I don't remember the speed bump. The speed, speed bump. bump. Yeah, that was your first time oh, off-roading. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I also, um, I also have an off-road vehicle now. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Matt lifted. Matt put a five-inch lift kit on his Mustang and I put it sure on 35s. Did. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no more scraping on the ground. No. I also want to thank All Terrain Nation uh, for their super chat. He said for the tire change. Oh. If we get paid to change tires, I'm gonna start. Line them up, guys. Yeah. We've had to change. Well, we, we haven't, but we've <laughs> seen quite a few tires that have had to been changed this week. This yes. event brings carnage to your vehicle, but yep. in yes. the best way. We're um, covered in dust ourselves. 
and carnage. <laughs> and we are carnage. <laughs> We're a little delusional, guys. We've been out here a while. So besides takeover day, besides base camps, we are going to be doing some overland expos and some other things. Most likely we'll have more to come. We have the Bronco Nation calendar online. You guys can check that out right now. I think the Chicago Auto Show is going on, so we have those blended in. And as well as your own trail drives and uh, meetups and things that you are doing, cars and coffee, any of those uh activities that are on the calendar check those out and we'll be having a great time this year with the nation uh g willikers said will, will you be able to use your ford rewards points to buy the ford performance parts Ooh, not not from us so not ford us. did announce that that would be happening online uh but historically it was only yeah in the yeah. dealership so there are some changes um there's a pilot going on with off rodeo points too but not from us now please do not ask to spend your points in Bronco nation the answer is no <laughs> we get a few questions <laughs> yeah. about that um somebody earlier asked uh when we'll be able to see more of the koh bronco uh koh edition bronco we actually filmed a full walk around of that so that via that vehicle that video of the vehicle will be posted very soon uh so we have all the details the ins the outs all the parts underneath all the parts inside and around uh very in depth so we're going to provide you all the details and a look at that soon and and peugeot is right koh bronco is limited to they're targeting 100 units um and it's not over 100k that is inaccurate um it'll sit somewhere between uh or wild track pricing and raptor pricing and that is straight from the mouth of the what's the saying horse's mouth the horse straight from Which the is, horse's mouth yes um on brand for <laughs> yeah. bronco yeah, straight bronco. from the <laughs> straight from the bronco's mouth horse's mouth yeah not over 100k um i mean i guess if you add yeah never mind i'm not getting into that um will you guys sell 74 well not not that i'm aware of you get paid to take pictures of you changing a tire video it or it didn't happen okay bet <laughs> no all train nation brought this up i'm going to settle the score here dave you already been through this bit but uh people don't believe me hold on one second you guys well, while he's going. looking for yeah. that we've um also been having some of the people come to bronco base camp do the campfire chats like jordan said we had arb we had jason jason from fox and his team here jason um, Shearer, yes. talking about the koh edition bronco um in addition to the video you got it We'll be having some articles online, and... <laughs> there you go. Ta-da! It was staged. Me lifting a it tire off of a Bronco. I don't believe it. The jack that is included with the Bronco is sketchy, but this was in Iceland, so you can ask. Zach's behind the camera. He'll verify. <laughs> International tire International changes. International tire change. Great zoom. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, yeah, take that. Another 10 bucks, please. I'm <laughs> kidding. Sorry. Continue. Well, that was that was it. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have more information <laughs> coming out. We 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 do have a lot of other events <laughs> this year. That more base camps. More base camps. Lots more base camps. camps. More yep. fun. More fun. More Broncos. Yes. More trail drives. Yep. More accessories. This is the year of more. The year of more. At Bronco Nation. More cowbell. Um, next merchandise, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Allie brought it. Merch, 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 <laughs> merch, merch, merch. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> London cannot be here in person. She is with us in spirit. Hello, London, if you're watching. Don't believe me if you're not. I think she's at like a Wiz Khalifa concert or something. I don't know. She's nice. having fun. Um, so we wish you all the best. Uh, London has been working tirelessly behind the scenes to continually improve our merch lineup on a weekly basis. And today is one of those exciting developments. Allie pointed it out, but yes, I am wearing the latest Bronco Nation flannel in all of its green and black glory. And it is available right now. So before you do that, click the like button, please, because we like new flannels. And after the stream, click the link in the description to purchase this new flannel. Like the last two, they are very limited quantity. Like the last two, we anticipate them selling out very quickly. So if you like this flannel, head over to the link in the description, buy the flannel, and it can be at your door very, very soon. Very nice, very nice quality. It's lighter weight than the little red bit and black layer. one. Yep. So but the green's cool. Oh, it's we cool. Yeah, the I hope it does not sell <laughs> out before I'm able to get off this live stream yes. and get some Wi-Fi because I and need I that. I don't think the embroidery looks funky on here. It might look a tiny bit funky, um, but it'll be perfect. This is a prototype. So, yes, new That's flannel. Good. We always like to bring the nation more flannels. We have some other new stuff in the store right now, Do we? Too. Oh, yeah. Laura or Matt? Yeah. Who wants to talk? Somebody. Matt, Laura. why don't you tell us about those Fender badges? The Fender Damn. badges. So we do have some new Fender badges. We've talked about them before, and we've even shown them uh, on the live stream. 
And we have them on one of our, our Broncos, so the green one. Um, Laura, I think you posted an article about that, didn't I you? I did. So we've got that up. Uh, they're trim level specific, so you can pre-order those now. Yes. Uh, they are, we have different ones for each trim level. So we've got a Badlands Wild Track, we've got the Wild Track uh, on ours. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and check those out. We've got them in the store. Um, get them for your Bronco. I think they look cool. They're sixth gen. A lot of people put the vintage script on their Bronco, but these are sort of the new <laughs> sixth gen Bronco Sorry. lettering. That's some dust in my throat. There's a couple that are missing. We don't have first edition. Um, there is a generic Bronco one. Uh, that we will come in different colors in time. Um, and we are having a late March delivery for the pre-orders right now yep. so more to come with those but if you like the ones that you see in the store right now and you are purchasing those uh, you will be seeing those in about a month I want to say another huge thank you to Alterine Nation they gave us one dollar per lug nut <laughs> That's it. you guys are the best uh, if you don't know I was on Alterine Nation Bronco, Bronco Talk live on Monday so after this go back and watch it we had a great conversation Dave and I have made up we are the best of friends now. Uh, but no, they, Dave and Kelly and Allie was also on there. We're extremely hospitable. We had a wonderful conversation. Uh, we're so thankful to have them a part of the community. Um, we talked EVs. We talked Broncos. We talked all things. It was fun. It, so was, it was a great fun. time. Awesome. Thank you very much for the Super Chat, guys. We really appreciate it. And we hope you uh, are having or had a great time at the Chicago Auto Show. Uh, Steven Rapp asked. Oh, wait. That was to Allie. Uh, Wild Raptor 2023 asked, does the green flannel match the BN Bronco. I'd say it's complimentary. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it, it'd be a nice accessory. I'm going to wear it as I, I feel like it whip does. her tonight. Yeah. Tim Bars is here. Hello, hello. Great. Any other new merch? Member, me member merch section? Black member badges? merch section. Member yeah, merch so section. We did switch uh, membership for 2023. The gear yes. kit is not included. Um, no. And that was because we wanted to give all of you the choice uh, of the items that you get. So we do have a member merch section in our store. So if you're logged in as a member, you can go and access all of those items. Uh, we do have a lot of the staple items, so like the black roll badge, uh, different things like that. But we also have some new products in there. So go ahead and check those out uh, if you are a member. And if you're not, create your account. If you have any trouble, just reach out to us and we'll definitely help you set that up. Sweet. Somebody asked if we're going to be at Supercell East. Mm. Yeah, we'll be there. We there. Yes. It's yep. close to me. I'll be there. We'll probably be there. Uh, we are considering having a base camp, nothing official. If that's something you would like us to do, recreate this glorious setup, minus the dust, noise, and loud fireworks, <laughs> uh, let us cool. know in the super chat if that's something you want. We are thinking about it. We have never done a base camp at Super Cell East before, but hey, this could be the year. We know a ton of you are going. We know All Train Nation is going to be there. We know Michigan Bronco Club is going to be there. Um, it's always a great event in Townsend, Tennessee, and it continues to grow pretty rapidly, mm -hmm. especially as the six gens come into the fold. Yep. And boy, there's a lot of six gens here. Um, so we could do that. That could be nice. It would be very nice. Different set of mountains. Different, nice grassy field. Less I'm biased. Wind. I'm for maybe it. Some, maybe some trail drives that are different than the street drives. Tim Bartz wants to know if he can borrow our Bronco Supercell. For our Bronco? For, yeah, for what? I don't know. Maybe. We don't have it. Right now, we don't have an East Coast Bronco. Yeah, we do. do Denise we? is there. Oh, okay. Yeah, Denise. The Iceland Bronco. I was thinking the Iceland Bronco had made its way back to you. No. Jordan <laughs> no. seems to collect all the Broncos. <laughs> uh, the green one's coming home tonight. And the travel We're trailers. We're back to Salt Lake tonight. And all the fine items. But he's in a fun location, and he puts them to great use. Yes. And we get a lot of cool content from that. So, And, and the East Coast people have Broncos. True. Ben has his eye of mine. Robert. Seth Fontenot, thank you so much. He says, Supercell. 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 Always great events. East and West are fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, we really enjoyed being there. I'm biased. I love Buena Vista a lot. Cool yes. place. Uh, but um, East is great, too. It is. That's where Laura and I first met. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan thought I was old. Well, I am old, but Jordan thought I was really old. Well, I'd only interact I with her over the him. phone, and she kind of has an old lady voice. <laughs> Motherly, mother forum voice. Sorry, no, it just is. A mature voice. Um, and so, the honesty. Yeah. Yep. I'm just keeping Here it we real, are. guys. Two keeping years later. Uh, Tim, I'm sure we could set you up with a Bronco for something. Just let us know. Uh, shoot us a DM, and we'll see if we can make it work. Yeah. Seth Rapp says, Bronco Nation, interested in helping with an event in Estes Park, Colorado? Um, shoot us a DM. 
We're always interested, always looking at new events and new places, new locations all the time. So send us an email at info at thebroncodation.com or a DM on social media, and we will look into it. No promises, but hey. Uh, Tim says, I think I'll fly in. That drive from Kansas may be a bit far. True. People yeah. have done farther. Oh, yeah. We've can we, go, can we run through the list of peop- how where people have driven from here? So we have Heidi, Bronco Battalion, yeah. from Florida. Battalion. Dro- <laughs> drove in for, <laughs> yes. Drove in for... From... How many February hours? February second, all the way yeah, until Yeah, she was like our first today. camper. Um, She's been here eight days. Is that like a forty-hour drive? I don't know. From Tampa. I'm thirty-sevens, nonetheless. Yeah. Wow. She's so. been staying in this tent <laughs> for eight <laughs> days. So glad to have her there. Yeah. Um, good night. I, what other states do we have people in? Uh, Connecticut. From California. Connecticut. Connecticut. Philadelphia. Connecticut is huge. Yeah. yeah Bronco that's Raptor. Far. Drove a Bronco Raptor All from the way Connecticut. Out. Flew Washington home. State. Came back. Washington State. Yeah. Oh, there's Blanca Bronco. Right there. <laughs> come there say you hi. There you go. Yeah, you hey, made it. <laughs> Sorry. Interrupt. Come say hi to the people. Well, hey, Tell us about everybody. yourself and who you are. Well, we're here in Bronco Nation. Just having a great time. My boy, my Bronco Man 6 with us. We went off-road and pretty hard today. Yeah, tell I us what say. happened today. Yes, We only was popped a bead. Uh, you know, you guys could were be there. Worse. I was there. I got yeah, a video of it. It was only you the tire. Have, you guys should have came later. We did real good stuff yeah. after that. Oh, really? Pretty good. For yeah. liability reasons, I'm sure we're glad we were. <laughs> Come on, Jordan. You want to go for a ride with me, man? <laughs> sure. Hey, I'll go, yeah. I'll tell I'm you what, guys. Soon. You ever get the chance, come out. That's see great. these guys in person. They're great people. Wow. And attend KOH. You won't regret it. Awesome we were just talking about people who have driven really far to come here. Yeah. You Spoken guys drove. Spoken 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 Spoken. 20 hours, right? You guys uh, are doing 18. Oh, I'll right. take your 20. <laughs> <laughs> Depends how With fast you're driving. Yeah. Bathroom breaks. Yeah. You guys are doing an event in May? Yes. Yeah. Tell the people about the event. So uh, May in Kennewick, Washington. Um, we have um, the Inland Northwest Stampede. Uh, you can find in- information on Facebook on the Inland Northwest Bronco Club page or the Inland Northwest Stampede page. So it's a two-day event. It's a show and shine broken up with classes. We want all Broncos there, whether they're rust buckets from early Broncos or to a 100 point inspection type early Bronco. Bronco twos. Bronco yep. twos. Yeah, we want Bronco twos. Um, we have classes for everybody. Three three divisions in each class, stock, modified, and off-road. And then on Sunday, the second day, we have the Juniper Dunes. Um, so it's a heck of a time. So if you're in the area or want to come out to the Pacific Northwest, it's beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful time to come out, guys. Um, the show and shine, unlike most um, Bronco events, it's actually on a park on the Columbia River. Columbia River is a beautiful setting for, for um, great Broncos. So please consider it. Somebody said Sasquatch is But for now, get off the couch (laughs) and go create an adventure. Yeah. 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 After the live stream, though, don't get off the couch. Thank you, guys. See you you guys. See you later. Yeah. See, this is what base camp's all about, guys. They're great. We saw them in Texas at Willing for a Cause. Uh, They're here now, and we really hope to attend their event in the Pacific Northwest. We're going to beautiful out there. We like that. Bop up there. Um, Allie said people have posted some awesome pictures from base camp. It looks so fun. It has been fun. It's it so is. much fun. This, fun. Is, this is vacation for a lot of people. <laughs> well, and this is what it's about. Where, where am I pointing? Where am I? The people, right? Yep, right, yep. Right, right, right there. People. Those people at the fire. Um, it's been really cool, though, like the community aspect of it, seeing a lot of the same people and then getting to meet a lot of people. I mean, everyone's so unique, and they've yep. got their own story. And oh, my gosh. Their yeah. Bronco is so many different Broncos built different ways. Um, it's really worth doing. So... Go check out on our website. We've got an events page. You can see yeah. all the events. Uh, register for some, even if it's local. Create, create one. one. Yeah, I've created a few and met up with some Heck random yeah, Bronco Matt. people. And uh, now we now we have friends, right? So. Well, that's a great segue into community. Can we get our community bug? Community flash, maybe? Community. 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 <laughs> well, the mother of this community is sitting next to me, Laura herself. Hey. Tell us I'm about here. some of the amazing stories and people you've seen uh, here at base camp. I love just going off of what Matt was just saying. People who have had Broncos earlier in their life. One of our attendees had um, her father had a Bronco when she was 15. Showed us pictures from her and her sister alongside it. Finally got her Bronco in. When did Carol get her Bronco? In December. December. In December. Came out here. She came to KOH last year with her and husband. Same the year before. Yes. Yeah. With with out of Bronco, yep. just got it, been on trails, absolutely fantastic. So that's one Amazing story that couple. I just absolutely love to see. Plenty of others. We have so many people who 
have uh, the first time experience with a Bronco. Many of them have been off-road, either at off-rodeo or with us at the different base camp. And being able to see the Broncos being used the way that Ford intended and the way that we love using them. Not always everything has to be uh, insane, King of the Hammers, Chocolate Thunder, racing up the boulders off-roading sometimes a scenic trail drive is just absolutely fantastic and yep. we've done some of those this week as well as yep. i wouldn't say today it was technical but it was it was it was fun it was exciting it was scenic. it was so some yep. of those have been just a great time to watch the community be able to get out there mm -hmm. and do bronco drives together so much thanks to greg and evan from new hampshire off rodeo yes. Corey from texas yep. being able to lead the people and take them out and have fun and then other things that we've been doing with the community the the fireside chats have been great getting to know people hear their stories we have a life outside of bronco all of us um it's, kind of, more it's, of us. it's, it's <laughs> not a lot not i would much. say maybe like five Ten percent minutes a day, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but catching up Showering, on some of your other hobbies and getting to know you all has always been fantastic especially online we chit chat all day long <laughs> i've always said it i don't know how some of you guys get your work done your bosses don't get mad at you but many of you have said you have a, a third monitor you have the forums up in the background Silly love that gooses. though we we get going all day long so many people doing cool things helpful information just building the Bronco community together. Is Bronco Nation coming to Overland Expo PNW in Redmond in July? I hope so. That was my favorite event last year. I, it's trending that direction. We would absolutely beautiful. love to. I hope we do. Beautiful event. Great trail drives. Great people. Whoa. Hello. Um, yep. So yeah, we hope to be there. Updates to come. Uh, Bronco Dude said, you all rock. Laura, please put in a word for Bronco Everglades merch. Nobody has any but you could have the Monopoly. That's the Monopoly. true. We had the Monopoly on Raptor. We do. Last Shoot year. it to London. Send an info, email to info at the You want just like a, a <laughs> Say snorkel London, on the Everglades shirt? Merch, please. Yeah, what kind of Everglades merch? Snorkel like that attaches to the shirt. An alligator? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the shirt snorkel? Yeah. <laughs> For some of y'all stinky people out there, you made me the ventilation of the armpits. Mm, that's <laughs> could be us great. right now, Jordan. Could be true. Well, there's yeah. so much dirt to soak it. Never mind. Oh, I'm going to yeah. continue. Uh, Tim Kiley said membership renewal notices. When? That is 30 days and three days ahead of your renewal so you will receive a notification that tells you everything you need to know uh, and how to update your membership so 30 days three days now and if you're not a member go sign up because why not you can come to something epic like this yeah mm -hmm. it's very fun um steven rapp said have you guys been up trail ridge road in the rocky mountain national park outside estes park at 12,000 feet the highest paved road in north america i have i have as well oh i <laughs> <laughs> Well, Laura looks like you need to go. Yep. <sighs> yeah. Laura's cool. been to Colorado. She drove a sport all the way to Colorado. I did. Oh, that yeah. sport that killed it. Good old sport. The sport went up Mosquito Pass? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Did we do any damage to that sport? I feel like we did. It's... A little crunch. It's been funny to see people using their Broncos out here and damaging their skid plates and coming to the realization that maybe that's okay and that's what it's meant for. I, I whoa. <laughs> got some fireworks in the background. Um, we've seen a lot of people who, like some guy came up to me earlier and said, oh, I put the first dent in the uh, the skid plate. And I was like, you know what? It's okay. And um, that's what it's for. That's what it's, it's for. It's better than your coolant. Yeah, your trans fan. <laughs> Whatever. Could be much worse, yeah. right? Yeah, Something transmission like fan. Mm -hmm. um, Steven, uh, no, no, sorry. Tanya, I'm going to butcher this. Tanya O, oh, will you be announcing the off rodeo takeover date at, for Moab before March 1st when the guest prices are due to increase? Gas prices are increasing. I was not aware of that. Neither we was are. I. We have the dates. We we know the dates. <laughs> we just have not announced the dates. We mostly know the dates. New They're, Hampshire is the one that's in yeah, flux right now. But yes, we will we will be getting those out as soon as we can. The off rodeo team had some exciting news themselves today. Oh yes. With oh, yeah. Bronco. Ripped her. Uh, Bronco Off Rodeo <laughs> Raptor experience yep. for Bronco Raptor owners of a 2022-23 Raptor. And so <laughs> as soon as they have that out the door, um, they may have a little bit more free time to um, be able to help us with getting those links out there. And I know that they're eager to, to see us have people sign up. Yes, so we will be doing our best as soon as we get home from this. We leave on Monday. 
action-packed work week. If we go off the grid for three days, please forgive us. <laughs> no, <I have laughs> or don't. Some, I don't care, personally. Yeah. Do. <laughs> uh, we, will, we will be working very hard to get you guys those dates quickly, as well as the sign-ups. Um, so that way you are prepared and you can make plans, and we will see you on the ground there soon. Yes, uh, Bronco Raptor Off-Road is going to be an incredible experience, especially curated by off-road experts like Von Gittin Jr., Lauren Healy, uh, Brad Lovell, Bob Burns, mm -hmm. all sorts of incredible uh, off-roaders who have a ton of it, decades of experience mm -hmm. uh, in the rocks. We've gotten a preview. It looks super sick. Um, it's going to be an exclusive experience at Mount Potosi outside of Vegas on the same property as Off-Rodeo Nevada, uh, but totally separate base camp. It looks super, super cool. Different so go trails. check that out. Yeah, more information will be coming. Uh, but that was an exciting announcement today. Wild Raptor 223 asks, is that fire pit Matt dug with that brand new shovel? From I the wish. behind the scenes. Uh, I'm just going to be honest here and say I did not dig that. And what you saw was all that I did. <laughs> Heck yeah. Working hard. Or hardly working. Working hard out here, right? No, Robert Parker. Uh, Robert dug that whole pit out there, actually. Uh, yeah. Um, someone said, of course Matt's been on that road. It's paved. It's paved. It's a paved so road. I, I did have someone come up to me here earlier in the week. And oh, <laughs> this was really wholesome. They said, so I, I, you know, I heard that you got some time in the, the new Raptor and it was your first time off road. How was it? I was like, the joke's gone. What a way to far. start, though. I was taken aback. It was right when I got here. I was like, are, are you serious? Like, maybe, I, maybe it was my first time off road. And um, <laughs> We're gonna yeah, quit like, I guess people are expecting it. Yeah. But um, no, I have been off road. I actually did buy a first gen F 150 Raptor uh, that I have now. So I no longer just the Mustang guy. Um, I am an off roader. But still, Welcome never to the been Raptor family. The Raptor family. Oh, well, I don't have mine, but. No, the new okay. the new one though driving that thing, uh, it's it's been really glorious. incredible, and the uh, the live valve technology in the suspension is is it's amazing. Like it's an instant response that that reacts to what you're driving over, and uh, it's pretty unreal. It's live. You're it's only live. in it for about three minutes, and then you do you get that smile. It yeah. happened to both <laughs> of us, and. They put up a enough of my terrorizing behind the wheel. Yeah, I know. Jordan Jordan drove the DR, and we said, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna drive back. Uh, you probably don't need to be behind the wheel of anything else for a while. Uh, we'll let you cool down because uh, going from that to anything else, your confidence level is probably up here, and yep. we need to take call. you back down to to here, uh, so you don't put us in danger. So. Triple digits. <laughs> And the Raptor would not be good. Um, oh, we should totally turn. I've never been off road into a merch line. I've never been off road. Because technical disaster said this joke has gone viral. I need a I need a sticker oh, to put on my Raptor. Oh, we should do that. That's that, a great right? London. Write that down. Oh, speaking um, of that stickers, would be a great if you idea. are here at King of the Hammers, oh, yeah. we have stickers. That if we you should... happen to be sitting over there watching yeah. this, <laughs> we do. Maybe maybe I have one. Yeah. Uh, do you? Nope. Nope. <laughs> we'll be passing bad. those out. We love to sticker. get those not out at events. We know people like to put them on their Broncos. We see them on all your Broncos and other things like the trail rated program. We know that yeah. is of desire and we are desirous to bring that to you. So some, some Chris Holmes we're on. says should make an event for Uray, Colorado. Chase Gentry knows a lot of Colorado trails. That's a true. A good trail monster yeah. for this. Chase is here. Chase He's is yonder here. somewhere. We ran Rattlesnake with him yesterday. We did. It was He's really fun. over 50,000 miles on his wild track. Yeah. That's Great setup. Lot. What's the highest miles you guys have seen on a Bronco? Let us is, know. Is, is Ed Bougeau still in here? I think he's like has a lot. Oh, um, yeah. He has quite a few. Some people with he a was lot. over 50 back in I'll, yeah. December. There was yeah. one for sale online I saw with <gasps> like 70,000 miles. Brandon, hello. He said, finally able to see you live. Hello from ba Bahrain, oh BN team. Woohoo! Very exciting. That's fantastic. Worldwide. Thanks so much for joining. We're so glad uh, you can join us. I was over there in January uh -huh. and actually met a Bronco Nation member in Abu Dhabi, which was super cool. Wow. So love the Middle East. So glad you're able to join. I, I assume you're serving over there? Yes. Okay. Thank you for your service. We appreciate it. Uh, hope to see you at an event soon once you get back from deployment uh, and can enjoy your Bronco. <laughs> uh, there's a planning thread on Bronco 6G for Bronco Safari. Uh, we also made, I went last year. Phenomenal event. We're going to be there, uh, or at least I'll be there this year again. Uh, any announcements for that will be forthcoming. Yes. We, we tease everything. Well, one day I, we'll get you know, I don't things. know if people know that there's 60K and there's not 60 very 60K. many of us. There you go. There's literally six of us. Guys. There's six of us that Seven. do Bronco Nation from all of this to 
the planning to all those things. So sometimes it's just hard to get stuff done because yeah. we're here, we're there. I wish we could be at events all day long, right? But like all the forums and everything, that's all run by Laura. All the data and all that, you know, fun stuff's run by Matt. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. So there's a reason just we sit here. It's not. It's yeah. not to be mean. No, but we're doing our we're doing our best. He said thanks for the shout out. Of course, thank you so much for being here. Uh, what's next? Hold on, gotta look at my agenda. We're getting to the end of this. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. <laughs> okay, housekeeping after that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we've just kind of done brain dump here. Uh, we've got um, Melissa walking up behind. What? Key? Oh, that's a little dog. One of the great things that we did here. This is one more thing about KOH is Melissa Clark. Yes. Um, yep. Three-time rebel winner in the sport did a navigational Two class. Time. Two time winner. The sport won three times. Sport That's won three right. times. Melissa she's won, won twice. twice in the sport. Yes. yes. Um, she's ran Rebel every year since it started. Maybe not the first. No, the first. The first. She's done every year. Okay. I yeah. hamburgers. So um, she did a navigational course today. So always cool things popping up at these events. And we would love to have you guys For here sure. doing some of that stuff with us. Steven Raps said, I have a membership card number in the 400s. Is that a low? Yes. Yeah. That is low. That's she is low. low. We started Considering we're in the tens of thousands, that's very low. You're yes. an OG, Stephen. Glad to have you wow. on board. Matt, what housekeeping matters do you have to address? Housekeeping? Uh, nothing. I mean, I think just go check out the site, you know, encouraging people Europe? to get involved with the community. Um, that's what we're all about is, is community and being a tool to empower Bronco owners in that. So, so check it out. Get involved in the forums. Uh, use the events and do all the things but other than that smash that like button we gotta get, <laughs> get to 50 likes guys and yeah. joe said he's driving now why are you watching and driving that's not safe he's putting miles on this bronco he's trying to <laughs> he can't trying he to can't increase lose. that 60k yes, he right? must stay in front gotta be number one i don't blame you 50 likes guys hit that big red subscribe button as well uh housekeeping for me flannels <laughs> go buy the flannels click the link in the description to go buy the flannels uh again they're limited they'll probably sell out quickly yep. if you want one get one fender badges are out also order pre-order them um, 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 um what do we have what else do we have i think that's about it yeah, things might cover just it all huge thank you here. to arb and ford yeah. performance for joining the bronco nation family it's an honor to have them alongside us to provide their incredible parts to all of you incredible people um huge been working the team has been working on those really really hard uh and to have them now join the gang is super cool uh so arb parts are available now and uh ford performance parts will be available later in q1 um and we can't wait to see all of those on all y'all's Broncos. Get safe recovery gear, please. Yeah. We've yes. seen some accidents. Oh, yeah. Uh, somebody rolled a Bronco yesterday. It's always important to have safe, high-quality recovery gear. Hope you don't need it, but in case you do, you want the good stuff. It's not Thank when you'll, if you'll get stuck, it's when you get stuck. True. Because that's does a, happen. It's a rite of passage. It's a rite of passage, and it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> but we still hamburgers, so we're going to move on. Uh, but thank you all so much for joining us. Check out all of the Bronco DR content. Coming Monday, we are going to start releasing King of Hammers videos. We have the KOH Edition Bronco video coming. ARB Bronco walk around coming. DR video coming. Lots of videos. Lots of videos. Finally, oh, yeah. we're getting that YouTube channel up and going. Steven says we ever offer a lifetime membership. See, guys, I told you all. Lifetime membership. I Probably know. not. I think that was vetoed, yeah. but we tried. Sorry. Um, but anyways, you can still renew it twenty four ninety nine for the rest of your life. We'll we'll just, we'll, we'll we'll keep it open for you. We'll keep the light on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys as always. It is great talking to you all. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're keeping up on all of the Bronco Nation stuff across all of our social media channels. We're gonna be here today and tomorrow. We also have a super cool try drive on Sunday that we will give you. Guys